love visualizations, affirmations, sticking post-it notes on mirrors, meditation, you name it, I've done it all. But the question is, do they actually work? Hi, I'm Yvonne Hiltz, creator of My Money Sorted, a program designed to help you bust through those limiting beliefs so you really can create the business that you love that actually generates good cash flow and profit so you can get out there and do more and be more in the world. In this video, I'm going to tell you the missing piece that I see so often not being talked about in personal development. For me, this is the pink elephant in the room. And for myself, I went years not realizing that this is the missing element. Drum roll, please. It's about taking massive action. Sexy, I know, but it really is. It's about taking massive action. I don't know about you, but years ago, I watched The Secret 50 times in 50 days. Yes, once every day. So I thought, I'm just going to get that mojo in my head. I ummed and I ahed and I uh, bought a red purse because I heard that was really good for feng shui. I kept the toilet lid down because, again, apparently it leaks money and money goes down the drain if the toilet lid's not down. Um, I even thought about, oh, how can I find a magic genie? Uh, I did positive thoughts, I had affirmations. Again, I did it all and I was doing really, really well, I thought. But what I wasn't getting was a lot of traction in my business from a cash flow point of view. I was feeling good and you know had great happy thoughts, but can you phone up Optus or Vodafone and go, I've got some great happy thoughts that I'd like to pay my phone bill? No, you need cash, moolah. So let's talk about how you can transform those great happy thoughts and actually into bringing in some cash. I like to keep it really simple. It's about getting off your tush and, and getting out there. And some of the key things that I see um, for me really worked. First of all, it was about opening my mail. I don't know if you've ever been in a lot of debt. I have. Uh, or if you've been overwhelmed with your finances. But I've talked to a lot of my clients and friends and some of us also did the same strategy of ignoring our mail. And I would let it pile up and up and up because I was always fearful about what was going to be in the envelope. And it would get to a point that I didn't have to worry about opening up the first or the second letter because I'd be on the third final notice and I know that that final notice would have all the information of the first two letters. So the first step I would suggest if you're in that situation is start opening your mail. Now it sounds simple but it's terrifying if you're actually not emotionally ready to deal with what's coming up. So I don't know if it's something similar for you but take small steps. Could be opening your mail. Another simple step to taking massive action to shifting your experience with money is checking your bank accounts regularly. Now, when I, five years ago, had to do massive transformation in my finances, I didn't know the passwords to my bank accounts. Pretty clear indication that I didn't go in there very often, so I didn't know my account details and I didn't know my password. Now I know them. Why? Because I check my bank accounts every day. Even if nothing's changing in your bank account, I've got to tell you, when you're getting familiar with your numbers and allowing yourself to observe and see it and feel it every day. It's a small step, but it starts to take action and you start to get some momentum. So check your bank accounts uh, and open your mail. Makes a big difference. The final one, this is about keeping it really simple. And this is where I've seen huge shifts occur for clients and friends. It's about taking a small, simple step of phoning your client or existing client, an old client, a friend, an acquaintance, someone you've met at a networking function and committing to doing five calls a week. It's about going small. This is not about trying to run a marathon the first time you put on running shoes. It's about going, how can I do a small incremental step and do more of it frequently? So, keeping it nice and easy and simple. One phone call a day. Everyone must know one person they can phone and have a conversation about where they're at in their business, how you can add value and help, with, help them with their business. So again, you're starting to build momentum. What happens? You plant enough seeds, they start to grow and you start to get some clients coming through. These are three simple things that I did after realizing that the missing step was actually taking action. Opening my mail, which has worked exceptionally well because I got clear on how much debt I was in um, and how to then realize that I need to put a plan in place. Checking bank accounts so I actually knew how much money I had in there and being really brutally honest of, oh my gosh, I've got to do something about it. And the third one, it was a little tricky and painful at first because I was making it bigger and uglier in my head. But once I started talking to my clients, potential clients, existing clients, I really loved it. And for so many of them, they asked the question of, well, where have you been? We haven't heard from you for a while. So those three simple things started to get a little bit of momentum. And a great expression is, a ship is easier to steer when it's moving. So if you are stuck and you don't know where to move next, just start moving. Do something that'll have you move forward. Because positive thinking, umming and ahhing and hugging trees and looking for a magic lamp and a genie ain't gonna cut the mustard. 
because I know because I tried to do it. You've got to take massive action. And another massive action you can take, if you're not already on my email list, pop over to yvonnehills.com, sign up to my newsletter. There's lots of magic that comes through on a weekly basis that's not often found on my blog site because I'd love for you to hear more of these juicy tips. Have a great week.